Hello, my name is Jillian Graham. I'm speaking today on behalf of On to Ottawa, a national nonviolent civil disobedience campaign with the aim of getting urgent government action on the climate and ecological crisis, starting with a national firefighting agency employing 50,000 firefighters by 2024. Over the past three weeks, ordinary ca Canadians similar to myself have been traveling across the country, gathered in Ottawa to protest peacefully in the capital to draw attention to the lack of government action on the climate crisis and the need for a firefighting agency. As a civil disobedience campaign, onto Ottawa supporters purposefully break minor laws in order to draw attention to larger injustices and the need for change. Breaking the law has consequences and on to Ottawa supporters rightfully accept the consequences of their own actions. Like all Canadians, they are innocent until proven guilty and they enjoy the rights and freedoms protected by the Charter of Rights. Unlike other Canadians, on to Ottawa supporters are being singled out with particularly punitive release conditions that go far beyond what similar offenders might reasonably expect. The following release conditions are a representative sample that track how release conditions have escalated over time. A grandmother arrested on August 23rd on Laurier at City Hall was banned from a one kilometer radius of City Hall, which includes Parliament Hill and much of downtown Ottawa. She is not to communicate with the six co-accused nor the three people previously arrested on August 21st. Another Ottawa area resident was arrested on August 31st on the Portage Bridge and was banned from the entire region of Gatineau. He was denied a variation to allow him to visit his elderly mother who lives in Hall. He was told he would have to agree to the release condition or be held in custody overseeing a judge about the variation. A mother from BC who was arrested on September 3rd on exit 118 of the 417 is not to be within 500 meters of any interprovincial bridge, is not to communicate with the 15 people who had been arrested earlier in onto Ottawa actions, is she, she's not to attend any onto Ottawa gathering and is banned from the entire province of Ontario. Normally, Laura Sullivan acts as our sp spokesperson. However, she is currently bound by eight release conditions after spending 33 hours in jail for a non-violent crime. Her release conditions ambiguously don't allow her to advocate on Onto Ottawa's behalf, nor is she able to interact with any Onto Ottawa media. She's also not allowed back in the municipality of Ottawa. Onto Ottawa believes this especially punitive approach by the Crown not only breaches Canadians' charter rights, such as the freedom to peaceful assembly, freedom of expression and the freedom of association, but that it comes as a result of the threat onto Ottawa poses to fossil fuel interests. This horrific summer of fires, floods and tornadoes must serve as a wake up call that despite government promises and while our peer country emissions are going down, ours continue to go up. Our government continues to allow the building of new fossil fuel infrastructure. Canadians are being failed by our government who are knowingly make decisions that will result in the death of millions. On to Ottawa would like to end by pointing out that Section 219.1b of the Criminal Code states that criminal negligence is the omission to do anything that is his duty to do or shows wanton or reckless disregard for the lives and safety of others. The government has a legal duty to act on this crisis immediately and the reckless disregard for the lives and safety for the young and future Canadians shows our country's criminal negligence towards this situation.